Hey guys, just ignore the lighting. Um, so as you can tell that it's a whole new different kind of setup. Um, this is my new place. If you guys want to add like a unit or apartment to it, just let me know in the comments below. I'll do it for you. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting videos in a while. As you see, I have moved. I've been putting everything together. So I can show you guys and stuff like that. Today's video is going to be things I wish I knew in high school because um, in Australia we don't have middle school, elementary school, we just have primary school and high school. So I'm just going to tell you a couple of things that I wish I knew in high school and yeah. The first thing I wish that I knew in high school before I went to high school was that you shouldn't care what other people think of you because if you think what other if you care about what people think of you it just gets out of hand and you become someone that you're not it was really really hard for me to try and find myself because i cared about what everyone thought of me that's why i dyed my hair so many times and it i just tried to change myself to fit the circumstances of the group that i was in um number two is um if someone is mean to you, just ignore it. Don't re don't retaliate because if you if you retaliate, then they're obviously going to say, oh, okay, so I got a reaction from this person. I'm just going to keep bullying them, and then it would just it's just going to make your whole high school experience kind of unbearable. Um, number three is. If um try and not stand out if you if you're a shy person if you're a shy person like me then try not to stand out because if you try and stand out then obviously you're going to get attention and all this and then you might get a little trouble with people that don't like that are used to you being in your shell and don't like competition because most girls think okay so she's she's shy i'm going to be outstanding and if you try and get like because they're kind of all in groups and i'm making no sense so let's just narrow it down try and be yourself and if you want to explore new things then you can if you want to but I'm just going to say that it caused trouble for me, me, with me becoming someone else. Number four, always keep tabs on your stuff because you will, like, in a week of high school, you will go down, your pencil case will end up having one pencil in it, one pen, and that is all. Because, let's just face it, there are thieves in high school. There's, there's thieves everywhere. They don't have their own pencils. They will steal it from you and they'll ask you and they won't give it back. I mean, who cares? It's just a pencil. But the amount of times I've heard about people's iPhones getting stolen, iPods, computers, hats, any type of belongings getting stolen from them. Let's just get this straight. Do not, if you are bad with your stuff, do not take it to high school at all. Just leave it at home. If if you don't want it to get stolen, just leave it at home. If you if you will always have it on you, like I I even went to PE with my phone in my bra. That's how bad it was at one of my schools that I went to. I went to I went to four high schools in the space of year seven to year twelve. So that was it. Really interesting um what i learned from those four schools is after year seven because i stayed at one school from year seven to year nine um we kind of got our clicks going and everything like groups and stuff and then after i moved to another to this other school i only went there for a month or or a term whatever um I realized that they all have groups and it's really hard to fit in if you're moving around and stuff. And then after that, I moved to another school. I went there for a year and a half, maybe just a year, for year 11. 
and that was really interesting because it was a private school and I was always used to public schools. So that was really interesting. Um, as again, they had their cliques, groups, whatever, and it was really hard for me to fit in. But I tried, it was interesting. Um, and then after that, I went to my last school. I was there for two years, and it was interesting because I went from private school into public school again and it was really weird and cool at the same time but again it was really hard for me to fit in because it was the last two years of my schooling and they all had their groups so all really tight together the year was really close together because they've been with each other for a while if you want an in-depth version of how i went along with this school and change and moving constantly just let me know in the comments and I will put that in my video ideas. Um, another thing that I wish I knew in high school would be be yourself. No matter what, I, the amount of times I've changed. I changed so many times. I changed my hair. I started wearing makeup to make me feel more confident about myself because I kept getting bullied if you want to know my bullying story I am fine with telling you and um, just to let you know if you're a bit getting bullied now it will get easier you don't have to worry about it it will it will be over as soon as you graduate or it will be over in a couple of months or if it's been going on ever since primary school just just don't worry about it trust me you're not the only one that's getting bullied there's heaps of people out there like if any of you want to talk to me about it then just just comment below or you can go talk to me on my Twitter or Instagram or something and I will like I would be able to like chat to you. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did please give it a thumbs up. Um, tell me what you wish you knew in high school in the comments below. Okay. Nice talking to you guys again. Bye.